Is it too late to stop climate change? Well, that's what the Morgan Freeman of astrophysics, Neil deGrasse Tyson said. Hi, I'm Ryan, and welcome to Controversy Corner. If you like hearing about the news, but you're tired about being so serious about it, then hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Climate change has been a pretty hot topic over the last couple years, and according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, we may be too late to reverse any of the damage we've done to the planet. Though I'm not completely surprised, we humans have this wait till the last minute mentality with, um, everything. I just like to think we live on the edge. Tyson cited the recent hurricanes as evidence that climate change is causing more and more severe weather on the planet. But Mr. Tyson, the president reassured us that there have been even more extreme storms even back in the 1930s. So who am I supposed to trust? A renowned research scientist with years of academic knowledge? Or the president of the free world? Oh, and by the way, dean of his own college, Trump University. Checkmate. In an interview on CNN, or as I like to call it, the uh, Crooked News Network, Tyson got emotional when Fareed Zakari asked him what he made of the Homeland Secretary Advisor Tom Bossert's refusal to say that climate change had anything to do with the recent hurricane's strength. Good try there, Neil, trying to make me feel emotions by playing the pity card. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna fall for that. I'm not gonna fall for your ability to bring the feels. You know why? Because I'm dead inside. Thank you, American education system. In light of all this, I decided to pull my speedos of science on and dig into the deep nails of knowledge and truth to find out what's really going on. And what I discovered? Neil's not too far off. Things like global temperature rise, shrinking ice sheets, and more acid in the oceans. Wait, we're giving fish acid? Don't do drugs, kids. Luckily, we have a head of the EPA that is fully Skeptical of the overwhelming consensus that human activity is the primary cause of climate change. Awesome. Look, I know that science is all about debate, but when politicians argue with an overwhelming consensus of everything pointing the finger at us as the problem and still denying that that's not enough evidence, I think we need to decide if the government is really listening to the facts or following the big business that's pointing the coin in their pockets. And I'll see you around the corner.